and welcome to your Go Market Update for today, Friday, the 24th of June 2022, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's come across the news today. Of course, we had another choppy session on Wall Street, but we did close at the highs of the session and, of course, in positive territory across all the major indices with an afternoon rally which had some significant strength in it. We saw tech outperform. And interesting, we saw rotation out of energy and basic materials, which has really been one of the stories of the week, suggesting rotation out of these sectors. And we're seeing this in Asia as well, of course. And part of the reason for this is the perceived demand reduction in these as we head towards economic slowdown. That was reinforced to some degree by weakness in global PMI across the board yesterday. We've seen US futures only very slightly lower in Asia and Asian indices are mixed. We're cautious with the ASX down 0.3 cent at this stage, with financials and materials both dragging on the market as well as energy, of course. Despite this, we're seeing more advances than decliners, which is interesting, again, suggesting some sector rotation. European futures are pointing to a slightly positive open as obviously European markets closed before that late Wall Street rally. US dollar index is trading near neutral. But gold has moved to the downside again. It's broken that important 1835 support. Around about 1820 at the moment certainly could test 1800. And oil really has dropped significantly throughout the week and is trading around about 110 as we speak, which is sort of around neutral if we look at where we were this time yesterday. We're also seeing a slight market calming with the VIX below 30. Bitcoin has stopped its demise and appears to be holding on to 20,000 support, up around about 21 in Asian trading, but very little evidence of significant buying pressure. But at least the selling seems to have stopped for now. It'll be interesting to see what happens over the weekend. Remember, we've had big gaps in the price of cryptos over the last few weeks. On the data front, we've got Japanese inflation already out and it's slightly higher than expectations. Later on, we've got UK retail sales, German business climate and US consumer sentiment and housing numbers. Those are the data highlights for today, particularly the latter, of course. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. Firstly, on the ASX, we like Wise Tech Global. If we just put it on a line chart, you can see evidence of this sort of rounded bottom type of formation. The key level here could be around about this 38 dollar level there it was support at this point here and if we take it back you can see this was also a level of interest we gapped upon significant earnings last year the upside potential on this is fairly reasonable if we get a break of this 38 dollar level and um, we can see a potential move up of around about 12 percent to the next key level on this could be a choppy ride up there if we do get any further buying it though on the fx front we are looking at the gb pound kiwi uh, you can see we've had a failed attempt at 196.50 a couple of days ago. Again, we had a failure to hold a move higher yesterday. So we're stuck around this 200 moving average, which looks interesting at 94.70. You can see this red candle here. We're going to bring this up on an hourly chart just so you can see it in more detail. And really, we've got this consistent downtrend over the last few days and looks like a descending triangle type of pattern and we're testing that to the downside now if we do get a break through this with any momentum we could see it down about 50 pips in the first instance in this market that may well be worth consideration but remember we do have uk retail sales out later this may influence this currency pair trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now